Welcome to the madhouse, Batman. I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously. Hello, good YouTube family. Thank you so much once again for tuning in and checking out this review of Hot Toys Arkham Asylum Joker. This dude is another beautiful piece that Hot Toys released from the Arkham series. I loved that game. So these guys, I really appreciate them and all of the detail that they come with. But let's check it out so that you, you the audience, can also see. The Joker box does come with the flap that reveals the figure inside and all of his glorious. Starting off with the hood scope here, we can see all of the details already in the forehead lines, the face paint looking all nice, the hair and the texture that he has is exactly how he was in the video game you can see just moving to the back and to the top over here um giving him that little detailed look on the top in the back of his head you can see that got that going on and you can see the uh the black wash in between in there he got his little superman swoop going on there you can see all of the face creases going on all throughout you see it on his forehead in between his eyes there all of those wrinkles look really good and the paintwork that they added like this is white but you could kind of sort of detect a little bit of his skin underneath just very very slightly but the way that they did it they did it really nice the eyebrows they are sculpted he has his pointy nose there but the creepy smile showing his teeth then we come to his infamous chin look at that it is very it's protruding then he got his ears then you can see all the neck lines going on now this is all one piece looking at his bow tie we can see he has his little bow tie that, that doesn't really move and you can see all of these little buttons and under here he does have like these i don't know what you call those but they snap right there if you see those so you do want to be careful if you decide to like move that around you can kind of see there in the middle what is holding it together so that's why you want to be careful you don't want to snap that and break it and then now he just has like that open you don't want that you don't want that no 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 no, no. his shirt underneath he has some blood splatter i do not remember him having the blood splatter in the game then looking at his jacket on top it's nicely tailored then he has his little uh flower here which is you know you want to be careful with that just in case but it is sculpted and that's what the back of the flower looks like then these pockets are not functional you see this part right here in the back it's leather this piece is a leather strap as well nice little purple suit see all of the button and his jacket does come all the way down so you can see all of that it's all the way down here and it has like that windbreaker type of material here we can see his gloved hand which is nicely sculpted and it looks like he does have gloves on so that's pretty dope and then you can see like the different shades of purple there he has like the the purple foundation and then it has like like pinkish violet highlights around the knuckles to make the detail stand out even more so that's pretty dope that they did that he does have his joker belt which you can see the joker head there which is very tiny but is nicely detailed you can see the sculpt of the head there he has his leather belt his belt is velcro interesting his pants they do have the belt loops see all of the belt loops there this little change but it doesn't have it doesn't come out or anything put something in his pocket and it goes up to there you can kind of see where it's at his pants is uniformed with his jacket on top cools minus this little patch here which looks nice and they did add it these little stitching around it as well and then his shoes has his michael jackson shoes got going on here nicely painted he doesn't have socks nope but you can see all of that good stuff there and then the bottom of the shoe we can see that detail which is dope you can see the dc comic and then on this side articulation joker looks all around he can pivot his head a little well his whole entire head and neck and he looks up about that much but it'll reveal where the uh, neckline is at he can look down about that much where his arms 
they go out about that much go forward about that much i don't want to do it too much you know goes back he has bicep swivel elbow bend really good hand does go all around and moves he does have the moment he kind of pivots side to side side to side and he goes back and forward his waist he can also do a 360 but you already know what it is his legs goes up about that much before you know you start feeling a little risky thigh swivel kicks forward bend at the knee and then he has all types of movements for his foot goes up goes down really good look at that wow I don't know who does that to their leg but he does that no toe hinge or nothing but you know he has ankle rockers so this is a ball joint that's connected to his shin and then one that goes into his actual shoes so it gives him a, a really good range of motion on his foot so that's yeah really good Yoga comes with these pair of glasses. Funky looking. I don't know. Does it does it does it work? Are you hypnotized? Are you hypnotized? It is made where it does hold back here. Of course it's gonna be all like that because he's the Joker. He's not even looking at anything. But yeah. It comes with these little guys. Secondly, Joker comes with these handcuffs. That all you have to do is just see that? All you have to do is just snap it on there. And you can put it around his wrist. This is what these look like. And they do look really good. You see all of the detail work there. All of the uh, silver parts are detailed. This is a nice little chain going on. You know what I mean? So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And you know Joker had to come with these little explosives. With his little chatter mouth thingy with triggers. Which... Even if you do kind of wind it up, nothing happens, but still have that option. And you can see the detail there where it says explosives. That's his clown shoes, which is also nicely done, nicely painted. That's the bottom. And it doesn't, it doesn't, oh, it does. Kind of, it, it kind of does um, move back as you can see, but you don't want to risk it. You just don't want to risk it. You just don't want to risk it. And he comes with a gun gripping hand. He has the gun there. And cool thing is this moves. Nothing else moves though. It would make sense if this did, but it doesn't. But you can see he has a, a big cannon going on there. And it is nicely painted. You can see that it does have like different kind of shades of silver with with an almost hint of blue like around this area and over here the handle all that good stuff doesn't have a left hand though for the gun he only has this one and he also comes with the tranquilizing gun and he comes with this trigger hand which is also for the right hand now if you see the tip the cool thing is that it comes with three little tiny things like this so you want to be super super careful if you don't want to lose these little guys but yeah he comes with this tranquilizer that's pretty cool and he comes with this gloved hand specifically for this gun and he comes with this stand which is nice you can see the plate there that says the joker batman arkham asylum the joker i do wish that this wasn't so dark um, I wish it would have been a little bit lighter to kind of, um, you know, so you can see the, the picture better. Is you know, little hollow John, nothing crazy to it. And then he does come with the crotch holding piece that you just put on. And that's just pretty much how it looks. So I'm simple, straight to the point. But yeah, and this little thing does go up and down. And he also comes with this stand. Well, this background, not a stand, this background, which is the entrance to the Arkham Asylum and i still have it sealed i'm not going to use it or anything it's a nice little thing that they used to add they stopped adding these if i'm not mistaken and he does come with these extra packs which we always always need some extra ones just in case just in case 
And finally, he does come with the manual. Make sure you guys read this journal because I do not want to break none of the pieces, especially because these guys are extremely expensive. So that's a wrap up of my review on the Joker. The only issue that I kind of found was the little buttons that they added on his jackets to, to stay in place. They're pretty fragile, they're small, and the little button piece that actually clicks fragile and that could bend and, and then it'll be really hard to connect it back into place. Other than that, I didn't really have much issues with the figure. And I do recommend them to any Batman Arkhamverse fans. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking time of your day to hang out with me. Thank you so much. You guys be blessed. Thank you. Peace. Flanning down the crapper! I have nothing to live for. <laughs> <laughs>